Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss background properties of CSS. So there are many properties like color, image, whether you want to uh, repeat the image or not, whether you want it to be fixed or not, whether you want it uh, on a specific position. So let's start with the background color. So the property for that is background test color. And that property specifies the background color of an element. That element can be anything like it can be whole body or some paragraph or some h1 or some element with some class or id or the combination of all we know the types of selector right so anything which we target will apply that background color the background color of a page is uh, defined in the body selector for example you want to specify color to the whole page we should target body so this is how we can do we can uh, specify background desk color using predefined set of colors or rrggbb format or there is one more function in css which specifies the red green and blue which uh, range from 0 to 255 so we have more colors in this particular functions rgb uh, colors for red colors for uh, green and colorful blue that ranges from 0 to 255 let's see an example for that for example I'm specifying some text inside my body and I want a whole page to be colored red first of all I want that so I can definitely specify inline CSS or I can specify internal CSS that we know now we can specify inside the head that I want my body to have a background as color test color to be red and when we refresh the page let's run that particular page that is background demo dot html so whole body is having a background color red same way for example i am targeting only h1 in this particular case i am giving background color red to only h1 so only the h1 will have a background color i can use a rr gg and bb format to specify the same color or i have one more option in css i can use a function named rgb and can specify value from 000 000, 000, 000 that means white sorry black no color at all and if i specify 255 255 and 255 all the mixture of all the colors that is white which is by default and for example i want to specify red color i can specify 25500 so full of red no green no blue and let's refresh the page so i have three options here i can specify predefined values or rrgbb format or rgb function to specify the color of the background now next is background image I can also set an image in the background so how we can do that I can specify background dash image and you can use a function named URL in this case I have to use function URL how for example I don't want to give it a color and I am giving that to my body so I don't want color but what I want is I want image instead so I'm using background as image I cannot simply write anything like here what I supposed to do I supposed to use one method URL and inside the URL I can specify path to my file I have one file diet.jpg over here so I am targeting that particular file and specifying that it should be my background. Let's refresh the page. 
so you will see there are many diet logos in my body even i zoom out there will be more so how it is possible let's see the image itself how the image is for example this was the image if we open it it is a simply single image it is only a single image but in the output we are seeing multiple images why this is happening is the next property of our uh, background and that is background image repeat by default that property is set to repeat by default that property is set to repeat but if you don't want it to be repeat or you want a specific repetition like here repeat x will repeat the image in the x direction or repeat y which will repeat it in the y direction or no repeat which specify i don't want it to be repeated here let's see an example for example i specify here background dash dash repeat and specifying repeat x only i'm repeating my image in the x direction only and when i refresh the page it will be only refresh uh, only repeated in the x direction even i am zoom out, zooming it out so it will be repeated in the x direction same way i can repeat it into y direction by specifying background dash repeat repeat y so it will be repeated in the y direction and if i don't want to repeat i can simply specify it using sorry no repeat so url repeat you repeat x repeat y and no repeat so this was the image repeat uh, property of a background in css next is how we can use a fixed uh, image inside the background i want the position of that particular image a background image fixed inside my html page so uh, when we scroll for example we have lot of data over here i am repeating this h1 multiple times so i am just repeating the da uh, data with some different values over here so we can see how it is working and i am refreshing my page in this particular case we have set our big, uh, repeat to repeat y if i say no repeat over here so it won't repeat my background so it is there and when i scroll my image my background is also scrolled with the uh, text so i can no longer see my background now what i want is whenever i scroll i want my image to be there only it should not be scrolled with my text so how can i do that for doing that i can use my uh, background dash attachment property and making it to a fixed so i am simply specifying background dash attachment and that to be fixed so what will happen is when i refresh the page and when i scroll my background is there only it won't scroll with my text okay so what is the use of background attachment to make your background fixed but it will only uh, can be demonstrated when you specify no repeat let's see i am removing that particular file uh, that particular property and i am refreshing the page so anyhow you cannot see that it is not repeating because it is repeating we cannot see whether it is fixed or not so to see that that background is fixed in that particular position you have to specify no repeat okay and our uh, next property is image positioning so i can specify where my i want my image to be in the screen how i can do that i can specify either a pixels or in a percentage 
or I can specify top, center, to, um, uh, bottom, center, or simply center. For example, here I am writing it background as position center. So, what would be the output? Our background will be in the center of the screen. And if I specify here bottom center, it would be in the bottom center of the screen. So this is how I can specify my position of the background. Even I can specify absolute values as we have already seen 100 pixel and 20 pixel. So it is 100 pixel from the left and 20 pixel from the top. So we can specify our image anywhere we want using background dash position. Okay, thank you.